Hi everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute little simple bunny. This is a fast little project and it's perfect for beginners and people who are just getting into whittling. You don't need much to, to make it as well. All you're going to need are your, your carving knives, a, good, a pencil, and a 1x1x2 inch piece of basswood. If you have the 4 inch long pieces of basswood, you just literally cut it in half. That's what I did with this one right here. Um, now if you feel like you're falling behind in the video and whittling along with me, uh, go ahead and just pause it. I will have a little picture on the left hand side here of what the current step is so you can, uh, so you can see what's going on. Alright, first thing is first. You're going to take your piece of basswood and your pencil and you're going to draw your bunny. Just a simple outline will do. You don't need to do anything too crazy with it, nor does it have to be perfect. And then from here, what we're going to do is just cut out the outline. We're not going to, we don't need to make it perfect, but just as long as you're not going too far in, you should be fine. All right, let's get to it. So I'm mainly just going to do a lot of push cuts on the corner. Just push it all the way through. Now if you had maybe like a saw or like a bandsaw that you can work with small objects like this safely, it might that'll make this step go a lot faster. But it can be done with the the knife. Just make sure to watch your fingers. Or wear some good gloves with uh, leather fingertips or some of those fancy chain mail gloves if you have them. And if you don't have any of those, you can always just use like a desk you're working on or another block of wood and just cut downwards. There we go. And then once you get most of your corners off, you can just start whittling it up. Just, just carve down to about where the line is. Make sure you leave enough room for that tail there. And just work from one side and then go towards the other. If you want, you go ahead and make a line all the way across where the, the foot is there so you can match it up to the other side. Ideally, you probably want to try to draw the same thing on the other side as well, but you don't have to. Um, you might not even draw it and make it match up perfectly. Now, if you had made a stencil, you, I'm sure you can like flip it in on your like uh, image editor on your computer and print it out and then cut that picture out and trace it on your piece of wood.
making sure I'm keeping with the same contour of the the head there, not overcutting it. There we go. Let's see here. That looks good. Start going around the back side of the body. down to that tail there. Make sure you leave enough material for the tail to work with there. You don't want to overcut that. There we go. And now that you have your outline, you can start shaping it. Now on here, the back side of it where the back legs are, are usually a bit thicker. So we're going to leave about this area right here a bit thicker than others and start cutting this area down a little bit further. Don't worry about all the pencil marks. We can draw them back on. doesn't need to be perfect at this stage just a rough outline of it and then just match it on the other side what I like to do so you have a good bit of symmetry just take your pencil and draw a line as straight across as you can this is where the the back legs are going to be you already have your front leg line there, and let's do the ears. The ears are about right here, so. All right, and then from there, you can start taking just about as much material as you did off and on the other side. You don't need to make it perfect. So as long as it's close enough, you'll be fine. So from here let's start shaping the head out a little bit. So we know that the head's going to come about up right there, 
and then you have the ears coming around right there. So we, we're going to try and define out the, the ears and the rest of the head from the feet and the body. Let's start from down here in the, the feet. This little triangular wedge. Start rounding the head out a little bit there. Pretty good. And now you can see some separation between the head and the body, or the head and the feet there. All right, now let's do this ear. So what we're going to do is cut along that line, get a little bit deep. And then what we're going to do is take our blade, cut at a slight angle, take a little wedge out there. off the tip of that ear. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe further to find that. Yeah, that's starting to look good. All right, let's see if we can follow suit on the other side. This one. Round you off a little bit, and then we'll start defining between the feet and the head again. It's going to be about there, there, right there. And then let's do the ear again here. Get the pencil going. So it's about right there and up to there. And just like the other side, we're going to put our blade in the, with the tip and draw the line with our, with our blade. Then take our blade here, come in at an angle, and take out some of the material. Mm 
we go. Round off the ear a little. There we go. Now let's finish up the rounding on the sides here. We're going to split the ears at the end. start to get this blocky back end here tapered down because so ideally we're going to want it to look like that so keep make sure we keep enough room for the tail at the end and just round the the body out a little And if you're starting to cut and you notice that it's starting to split, like let's see if we can get it going on this part, or it's just uh, coming off in chips. There you go. You hear it tearing there, like it's going like that. That means we just probably cutting into the grain too much. Try and cut down into it so you're not lifting it up and you're just slicing across the layers of the, the wood grain instead of going straight on it. That way, you get a nice clean cut, and you don't actually like chip off a bunch of material. sides here a little bit. Oh yeah, we can find the ear a little bit more. Let's get that wedged out. We got enough material going off on the back side there. Let's just continue to round it off. Round off the bottom a little. There we go. Now let's start getting the other side. Keep checking to make sure you're not doing too much. Start tapering towards the end there. And do the same to the other side. There we go. Make sure we can define that tail out a little bit more. bunny tail. Shape off the back a little bit. And we're going to 
to shave the tail up into more of a point so it's not a big old block at the end. And there's your little tail. Now we're going to separate out the ears a little bit. So you can see that there's two ears going at the same time. And then we'll be done. Yeah, I've got most of it taken off here. Alright, so. Ears are going to separate right about there, and then we're going to want to stop right about there at the top of the head. Now if you're liking my videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. I highly appreciate it. Get this bit out of there. Yeah, cute little bunny ears. Let's clean that up a little bit. Shape out the ears, and now all we have to do is just smooth it out and make it look look nice. Or you can leave the little whittling chips all over the place. I kind of like the look. Get the face all smooth that a little bit more. There we go. Round off the base of it. And there we go. Little itty bitty bunny. Feel free to like and subs subscribe everybody. And thank you for watching. Have yourself a good day.